Um, I am uh, worried about our environment, and um, I think that if the city is concerned about um, increasing our population, um, with how many jobs would this bring? You said 50 to 100. Okay, well, if it's affecting the health of the people that are here, I think that it will cause more than 50 to 100 people to decide to leave the community, or also, uh, prevent people from coming into the community because of this danger of the toxic waste in the environment. Um, I'm concerned for my grandchildren as well, and um, I've come to learn more uh, about what we can do. And if the, the small particulate, I, I think that we should put all of this on hold until the public health does come up with what they need to do to monitor smaller particulate matter. So I, I, I'm here to know what I can to help. I don't think we should rush ahead with this. Well, we certainly are learning too. Um, I know some of you have read up read more on it than I have, and I think we're all in the same position as far as questions we want to have answered. Uh, we, of course, will take your comments and such to the council. All we can do is advise them. Um, but. We will be discussing this in a lot more in depth too and learning things. So we really do appreciate you coming and sharing your feelings with us and you know, the best we can with it. Make, make a list of questions. Would you be kind enough to share them back with us? I would like to just have a mastered list. I've been trying to write down questions at the council meeting, questions that got handed in. Because it'd be nice someday to say, well, here are all the questions that, I, that we gave to mm -hmm. you, or we gave the questions to questions that you gave us here. Yeah, so that, you know, because well, are we they going to get answered? We will certainly look at these and get the best answers that we can We're not asking you for the answers. You're just your questions. <coughs> if you add questions on, we'll oh, get those share additional your questions yeah, get to us. Yes. Yeah. So we can, can kind of keep the questions that, you know, come up from around sort of like, oh, here's the questions the citizens had, and here's documentation that we gave them to this group, and we gave them to that group, that we have given them to groups, and saying from the groups, not you, but from the council or from um, the company, that yes, we will get back to you on that. You bet. You bet. Thank you. I'd like to make a comment to that. Better yet, are we going to have answers to these questions? Who's going to provide them and when? Those might be the three main questions that need to be addressed first. I don't right. Not, I don't know if anyone does right no. now. But they haven't solicited our input prior to this, so you know. But that's part that's of our concern. concern. Exactly. Is, uh, is that you nope. weren't included in any of this mm -hmm. process, and nor was public health. And We're so right that raised that. our concern about, oh, are there really environmental issues with this process then? Mm -hmm. To me, you should have been the first group that came to you. Well, we would have liked to have thought so. <laughs> Mary, did you have a question? Well, for Maxine, next time that you get together, would you let us know also when you have a meeting? Sure. It was, it was just it was a very small, mm -hmm. informal group prior to the council meeting that just said, gosh, let's try to put our questions down on mm -hmm. some paper. So we don't but all if we get a small grassroots movement going, we'd really like sure. to, be able to know about that. Sure. But I don't want to sound like we're against jobs. Right. We're not against jobs. We need them desperately as an old person leaving the workforce. Somebody's got to pay for money. So, <laughs> no, I really, we need, we need jobs, Fanny. So I don't want to be stupid and say, oh, they're all bad. We don't know anything yet. I mean, well, we don't. Well, we're kind we, of sitting in the same position. Yeah, we just, we need our questions answered. And if they can be answered to our satisfaction, I think then everybody would welcome. Yeah. Even if they could just tell us at Hobunk Center out in Wyoming, there is one just 
like we didn't do it but there's one just like we're putting in here yeah. then we'd at least have a source to go to to get some statistics but yes, you know, I, right I now I have some questions about that too because I was informed that Ames has a system very similar no. to this. No. It's Ames is an incineration. There's, a, there's no. an incineration okay, system. Now. It's not. <laughs> At the council meeting, they gave Alexandria, Minnesota, as an example of, but I think you've already found out that is not like what they're going to put in here. He gave, their CEO gave me all sorts of good, you know, advice, but he said, you know, again, they have a government contract or government funding. They're working with the um, forest industry and it's a plasma art gasification. It's, it's not, um, it's not, this is private investors that are putting up to $35 million to do this. They, must, they want a profit, so they want to do something. But from reading through all the material, I'm not sure they're trying to make a profit on ours. I think they're setting our plant up as a demonstration to bring other cities in to see this process and try to sell them. Because I think the money is in selling the plant to other communities, not in running this plant. And in the September 29th KGLO interview, Yavorsky um, said that this plant could be run with 20 people. Oh, but he's, maybe he's padded the numbers to make it more attractive. I think your concerns and our concerns are right along the same line. And we want to have, have answers to these questions as much as we can. So we'll, we will be looking into this and asking questions. And hopefully we can get together with the plan, whether it's here or, as you said, Mary, and work together and get, get some answers to these. Or include public health, too, to say, yeah. Do you have to get an agreement with the line? They have to get an agreement with the landfill. They have to go through all their permitting with the IDNR. So this is the Zoning Board of Adjustment saying yes or no to whether this particular parcel of land is appropriate for this particular use with or without conditions. So you're saying then if it is approved, they still have a lot of years. They do have, have a lot of steps to go through before they were break but ground. But do any of those steps include public input? Is there no. public input at that meeting? Yes, that's uh, yes. public hearing. But after that, hearing. if you have questions, you can. City Council would still have in, a yeah. public hearing on a development agreement to offer the incentives that they sort of gave a heads up to at the last meeting. So they sort of agreed to terms of an agreement, but there would be a public hearing at the time that they did a development agreement with the company. But once it passes planning and zoning. Kind of it's not planning and zoning, it's zoning, zoning, zoning board. board. Yeah. Once it passes that, then, then they have all their, then they have, um, then they can build, you know. Right. They have, have approval to build. Right. There is, there is one other option. Um, anybody who disagrees with the decision that the Board of Adjustment makes has 30 days to appeal that decision to district court. Well, I just encourage you to write your questions down because we would like to go to that meeting and again we're going to keep submitting the same questions because I think it's important that we have those in writing and on record that those are submitted.